This is FJTTV, reporting to you live from the studios of Balmain. My name is Mr. Catabiano, otherwise known as Mr. C, and I'm the sports teacher at Father John Terry Balmain. Today, we are lucky enough to have one of our upcoming and rising sports athletes in the studio, in the studio with us, Sophia Rout. Welcome, Sophia. So, Sophia, for those who don't know you um, that well at the um, school, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Sophia. I am nine years old. I like playing with friends, the outdoors, being active and playing lots of sports. Yes. And what do you enjoy most about sports, Sophia? I like how it keeps me active while also challenging myself to do, to do better all the time. And tell me a little bit about your achievements at school level. I have represented my school at Combined Regionals for Athletics, New South Wales CPS for Swimming, and New South Wales PWSA for Cross Country. Wow, that's a lot of sports, Sophia. So one of the um, aspects of sport is um, motivation. So what motivates you when playing sport? What motivates me is setting goals and achieving them. It's not so much about coming first, it's about beating my personal best. And in regards to training, how do you train before an event? What do you like and dislike about training? I train throughout the year running and swimming to help keep me fit. When an event comes up, for example cross country, I focus more on a specific training a few days before the event. I will reduce training so my body is rested and it's strongest. I also make sure I eat healthy, sleep well and drink lots of water. Very good, water is very important. I believe that you reached some major um, achievements in your life. Can you name one of your achievements? My biggest achievement was at the start of this year when I was eight years old. I became the youngest person in the world to reach Mount Everest Base Camp in winter. I reached heights of 5,380 meters above sea level in eight days. In eight days and travelled over 120 kilometres despite temperatures dropping to minus 30 degrees and breathing being hard due to the high altitude. The trek was one of the best and hardest things I've ever done. That is an amazing, amazing achievement, <laughs> Sophia. So if you could achieve anything in your sporting uh, career, what would it be? There are two things. First, it's would be to be the youngest Australian to climb the summit of Mount Everest. Second yeah. is to represent Australia and at the Olympics. Wow, imagine the Olympics. <laughs> and what is your favourite sport that you play? My favourite sport at the moment is a sport I have just started this year. My first ever team sport, touch football. I recently made the representative team will be competing at the New South Wales State Cup next year. I like it because I get to work in a team with my friends. Uh, Mr. C used to play touch football when he was younger. And who is your favourite sporting hero um, that you aspire to growing up now these days? I look up to and inspired by Taria Pitt. She was coming, she was competing in an ultra marathon run when she was surrounded by grass fire which burnt over 65% of her body. She was very, very lucky to survive. She had been through many challenges since and it has been a long recovery for her but she has continued to do what she loves, competing as an athlete. That strength is why I, she is my sporting hero. Very good. So thank you, Sophia, for um, this interview today. I know the FJT community are very proud and supportive of your sporting career, and we hope one day uh, we see you at the Olympics. So thank you very much. Thank you. So signing off from the studio, studio my name is Mr. C. Have a good day. Somebody to help me say it one time.